everything. Guys, we are back in intermediate algorithm scripting, bonfire Roman numeral converter, and this is by far I've kinda I kinda worked my way through. This one is I, I've even done it in Java and I remember struggling with it back then. So if you struggled with this, it's okay man, just keep keep trucking forward. I kinda did the same thing. I had to go online and find some solutions and you know, compare it, uh, pull up my old Java one and so Anyhow, uh, the solution, I can't really take full credit for it. I got it off of like Stacked Overflow and other people's examples. But the, the important thing is that you understand how they got there. So let's slowly work our way through here. So what we're going to do is just create a blanket variable that we're going that's going to be our Roman numeral. And so um, that we're going to return. So we'll just say Roman numeral. And we'll set that equal to an empty string for the time being. So... The next thing we need to do is create two arrays. One for the Roman numeral values and another one that's going to be uh, the whole integer values of those Roman numerals. So let's create a, um, let's just rename this Roman. Uh, so let's create another variable here. We'll store, uh, create an array in this case. Let me zoom in a little bit. I've been trying to uh, zoom in a lot more for these videos per request. So we'll say, we'll create a, an array called Roman numeral. So in this case, in this array, we are going to be storing from Roman numerals go all the way up to a thousand, and we're going to that's m. So we're just going to start at the high point and work our way down, and um, it'll become evident later on why we do it this way instead of the starting from the smallest and working the way up back. So the next one is cm, and that's nine hundred. Uh, C is a hundred, m is a thousand, and then we have d, and then we have uh, CD. So these are the, the cases where you have one right before, like um, the IV is 4 instead of V is 5 and the 3 I. So the that's why we have to do it like this. Then we have C, then we have X, C, then we have L, and then we have XL, then we have X. And now we should have for i, ix, and finally we have right here after ix, we should have um, v, right? So 5, and finally we're at 4, and finally, last but not least, we're at 1. Put our semicolon. So those are our Roman, num nu Roman numerals from 1000 to 1. And now we're going to create a, um, an array that in their case oops, is going to be their counterparts. So we'll just say var numbers are equal to and then we'll just work our way down. We have a thousand, we have nine hundred, we have five hundred, we have four hundred, one hundred, ninety, fifty, forty, ten, nine, oops, nine comma 5 comma 4 comma 1. So we have our equivalent numbers array. Now what are we going to do for this? So we have to do a for loop that iterates through the numbers and then a while loop within it that's saying while our inputted number is greater than um, our array of numbers, the index at the end. So if it's greater than this, Greater than a thousand, do some stuff. And that stuff is we're going to add to the Roman numeral string, and then we're going to subtract f that number from from uh, from our original number. So that's all. So let's. Uh, it'll make more sense once we get it all out and we put some comments in there. So in this case, we're going to start off as a typical for loop. We're going to say we're going to do this while i is less than our numbers dot length increment i. So next we're gonna say while our original number because we haven't even touched our original number is greater than or equal to our numbers oops, numbers array i what we want to do some stuff. What is it the stuff that we want to do? In our case we want to take our Roman numeral we want to set it equal to Roman uh, 
uh, Roman plus Roman numeral I. So if it is, it's, and it's only going to do it each iteration. So if it's, so let's just, uh, L and then we have to decrease our while loop will never end. And then we'll just set our number is equal to the the um, numbers i num sorry number minus num i. There we go. I'm just going to run that. So it returns zero. So let's check everything. And in this case, we want to return Roman, so that might be what what's not working there. There we go. So um, a lot of code. I struggled with that. I spent about two hours trying to figure this out. Finally, I asked for help, and I even looking over my old code that that kind of helped trigger it. But what are we doing here? So let's let's. Uh, Let's see what's going on here. So in this case, um, empty, create an empty string. Then we create a array of possible RNs. We'll put a RN for Roman numeral up to 1,000. Here, um, create an array of poss possible number values here we iterate through uh, our numbers iterate for a length of our numbers array and then here um, while original number is larger than are inputted uh, numbers array. I shouldn't do it like that, but uh, um, all right. Why well, it's larger than our original numbers array? So let's say this is ten, and why it's larger than any of this? So it'd start here, and then it would, you know, we'd minus one from the numbers. Um, add its equivalent and that's why we go through each one of these so whatever the i value is when we work our way down like this so if we start at m this equivalent is right here so we are going to add the equivalent roman numeral to our original empty string and then we're finally going to subtract the value from original number to end while loop and then we return it so that was kind of this convert into roman numerals and again if you, you struggled with it i don't blame you they offered a lot of index of splice and uh, join we didn't use any of that so there's probably a better way of doing it this was the best solution i was able to find and i was struggling with it so i hope uh, i hope you found it helpful again you can see right here i have about eight comments about one for every line of code and this is really going to help kind of solidify okay maybe i didn't completely come up with this option on my own and that's a fair statement but i at least understand how this is working and i think i could get back to where it was so i hope you found this helpful as always uh comments questions concerns all that sort of stuff is appreciated don't forget to like and subscribe i'll see you in the next video Thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the content and want to see more. And also check out my new series, Let's Talk Code, that's going to have programming news, tips and tricks, a little bit of tech, and just a little bit of my own personal hobbies and preferences. So if you enjoy that, go ahead. It's very casual. Check it out. And I'll see you guys in the next video.